previously on Massive Log. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Whoa! There we go! Oh my god! <laughs> Wow, <laughs> my ears popped. <laughs>
just want to thank everyone that has subscribed to me. Um, I just passed 20,000 subscribers. As I was editing this video, I broke 30,000 subscribers.
thanks to you, I have hit 40,000 subscribers. subscribers. Robert here is now the president of the American Coaster Enthusiasts. surpassed 70,000 subscribers. just hit 80,000 subscribers. hit 90,000 subscribers, which is just incredible. Thank you so much.
Hello there, YouTube. Obviously, the world has changed on many different levels since the last time I have recorded one of these vlogs. And while the world has changed forever, I'm looking forward to documenting just how much it has changed. I haven't had a haircut or shaved since the last vlog you know, premiered in March. So now I think it's time to get rid of the beard and the haircut. And we're going to do that right now. Better, but we still have work to do. Oh boy, no. <sighs> Much better. Welcome to the next massive log. Let's go. All right, here we go. And today's a special day. I haven't been to an amusement park since March, since the last massive log you've seen. And the last park I went to was scene 75, if you want to call it a park, here in Columbus. Well, it just so happens that YouTube users Civilian Satellite and Steel and Wood Riders are on a coaster trip and they went to the zoo today. The weather's looking a little iffy here in Columbus today, but um, scene 75 is inside so they don't have to worry about the weather there. But the plan right now is once they are done with visiting the Columbus Zoo, I am going to meet them at scene 75 and hang out for a little bit. Just like millions of other folks around this world, I'll be honest, I haven't been wanting to hang out with a lot of people. So it's gonna be awesome to safely hang out with people we're gonna play by all the rules. I've got my masks, I've got my hand sanitizer, and it'll be interesting to see uh, how this plays out. I have plans to visit another park next week, and we'll see how that goes as well. But for today, it's gonna to be a good day. So civilian satellite, Vince, you may have seen him in some of my other vlogs. By a chance random meeting in Casper, Wyoming, when I was there with the Eyes of Freedom, uh, that, that's the circumstance that led to me meeting Vince. And I had no idea he was an ace member, I had no idea he was another YouTuber. And in Austin from Steel and Wood Riders, I've known him for a few years. So please, please check out both of their YouTube channels. Give them some love. And I can't wait to see the guys again, so uh, here we go. I know it's hard for you to uh, hear me because I have the mask on, but uh, back at scene 75 with Steel and Wood Riders, Mr. Austin. Haven't seen him in months. Haven't seen this guy, Hello. Vince. In over a year. In over a year, civilian satellite. Yeah. I'm here in Ohio again and chilling, uh, so this is going to be a really fun time. And unfortunately, you have to ride another one of these. Yeah, I don't, know how many, I don't know how many clones you've ridden. I've already got this credit, so I'm not going to be riding it today, but uh, we'll watch those guys. So here we go. This is my first park with this uh, mask enforcement, and they're cleaning the trains every time. Let's watch Austin and Vincent take a ride on Nuclear Rush. I think I have superpowers now. <laughs> cool. You guys yeah, gonna go do the drop tower now? Yeah, let's uh let's do and it. And it has the very creative uh name drop tower. Very creative. Uh, if only there's another park in Ohio that had a ride that with that same name.
So we just had a great dinner at Red Robin. We don't get that in Casper, so I am very grateful yeah. that a And this is parking here. lot is trashed. I mean, there is trash everywhere. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> But uh, it was great catching up with you guys, man. And great you guys catching are, up with you. And you're going to have a, a fantastic... They're going to Indiana Beach tomorrow. And I'm not going to a park until next week. And then that'll di dictate if uh, I'm going to go to more. So it was great seeing you guys again. And uh, Great hanging out with you. And uh, Austin, you look a little tired there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, long day. It's been a long day. Yeah, they went to the zoo and stuff. So uh, awesome. Well, let's see what's, what's next. All right. So since uh, being at scene 75, Steve here came down to Ohio because we have a big day tomorrow. Today he brought his camera equipment and uh, we're just going to do some uh, photography, some video stuff. We already went to Hoover Dam and now we're at Ennis something? Something Woods. Ennis Woods Park or something. I mean, I've never been here and I lived in Columbus all my life pretty much, but we're just gonna go see what we can uh, capture. And also the Eyes of Freedom had an event this past weekend at Dalton Union Winery. And uh, it was amazing. So check this out. We saw absolutely nothing other than squirrels at that last park. So we drove about 30 minutes to Pickerington Ponds. Again, I had no idea that this uh, place existed either. It's a huge park, it's a huge park complex. So Steve and I are on this trail at this park at the recommendation of another park owner we talked with. And you're not gonna be able to see it because I'm recording with my phone, but Steve's amazing, you know, lens that has sorcery in it. Uh, we just, we, we're, we're looking at a baby bald eagle. You can't see it. I'll try to zoom in, I'll try to zoom in. But the nest is right there. And just to the right of it up, there is a eagle. And maybe Steve will have better luck with his Mondo lens. But uh, 
amazing. Another day, and quite an important day, I'm at Kings Island, and Steve is behind me, and Chris Allen is right there. We have Chris, Mr. Chris Allen joining us. Do you have a YouTube channel or anything? No. Okay, I was gonna let you plug something. There's Ryan, that's why we're here. But this is gonna be experience, I'm not gonna lie, I got butterflies, so uh, we're gonna see what happens here. So this first bit, we have to get our temperature checked. All right, we're in the park. I'm excited. You guys excited? Yes. I've been watching videos for weeks. It feels weird to be wearing a mask in a park. I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely for it. If anybody is complaining about wearing a mask when coming to a place like this, just stay home. We're here. All right. We're entering area 72. One pass per day per guest. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Holy crap. This is going to be awesome. Almost there, buddy. Woo! All right, guys. Here we go. Ride number one. We'll wait this for a while. And we're gonna ride the back for our first ride. So I took my first ride on uh, Orion here. If I'm being honest, it was all right. Uh, I want to ride it, we rode in the back. First drop's amazing. Maybe we'll ride it again, if not, I'm not going to worry about it. I got my credit. I can move on to something else. Chris, what do you think? I was expecting a giga and I got a giga. <laughs> Steve, what did you think? That was good. Not great, but good. It, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It's just, if you're looking for a ride, it's not very intense, this ride's for you. Um, great first drop, but we'll see what happens when we ride it in a different row. So, Chris. Yes. What are we? What? What's missing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think there. I think there used to be a ride here. Holy crap! And they're doing work down there. Oh, hey. Wow. This is where Vortex used to be. Crazy. They also they also have these uh, relax zones to take off your mask and wait for a little while. So that's pretty cool. Next stop is the legendary The Beast. It's very important that personally I ride this because uh, I started riding The Beast 30 years ago this month. Actually last month, but at least this year. So what made me into a coaster fan and we're about to uh, take a ride. Chris, what are we, we've ridden the Beast. What do you think about the Beast? Um, I normally ride it on a non-wheel seat, so that was an adventure. <laughs> it's noticeably different, not sitting in the middle of a row, but. And uh, we're, we're gonna walk over here and do what? Ride Mystic Timbers. And the shed. Oh God, I cannot wait to get in the shed and cool off. Thank you all, yes, Derek King's out. 
we have clean our train every 30 minutes. We have the, the ticket to come back. Now's our time to get in line and uh, try this again. See if we can get an even better ride. So here we go. And uh, so I have my sleeping bag on. I have thermal pants and a thermal shirt. Enjoy, Steve. Ride two of Orion is finished. Uh, we rode in the very, very front this time. Much, much better. Airtime, really strong airtime. The helix was forceful. There was even a little bit of air going into the turnaround. Definitely, for me, front seat ride all the way. Had I ridden the front seat first and gone towards the back, I might have been a little let down, but other than the first drop, the first drop is really decent in the back, but the rest of the ride is very solid in the front. Do you agree? Yes. 100%. 100%. So we ran into Ann at the gift shop, and we haven't seen, I haven't seen Ann in many months, obviously, because Years. Of all the world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And she showed me this beautiful picture of her raccoons. Look, look at this. Her, oh, hold on. Not her raccoons, no, but. No, they're uh, not my raccoons. But check this picture out. Thank you. ride of the day. We're doing Banshee, right? Steve has got to go to Detroit. I got to head back to Columbus. Ann's got to go back to Tiffin. No, not tonight. Oh, she's staying an extra day. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed at how Kings Island handled the uh, social distancing, the mask requirements, all that. Uh, and we had a great day, so it actually has me excited to, to visit a couple other parks this year just to see how they're doing it. But uh, hats off to Kings Island, you guys did a great job. I didn't stay exceptionally long, but uh, I'm going to take this ride on Banshee because Diamondback's currently down. And okay, call it a day, so more in just a second. Watch out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. I just want to share uh, a few more thoughts about um, the visit to Kings Island. They did a great job at making people safe. And while I did have a decent time at the park, there was definitely something missing. And I think it was just people. I think it was just uh, seeing the smiles. Watch out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. I think it literally is, can be as cheesy as not seeing the smiles of people and not really hearing them scream. And there wasn't a lot of people in the park to begin with. So maybe that had something to do with it. Now, I don't plan on going back for the rest of the season to Kings Island, but things can change. I'm more than happy that I went at least one time this year and got the credit on Orion. I would love to give it some more rides to uh, see if I like it anymore. I certainly don't hate it, it is a fun ride. But if there was one word I could describe a huge part of that ride, I think it would be Watch out, object on road ahead. I think it would be sterile. It's a very sterile feeling ride, if that makes any sense. Regardless, I'm very happy that Kings Island has put that ride in. Right now, I'm heading back down. Watch to... out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. What is going on today? I'm headed back down to Cincinnati right now to hang out with Chad and Taylor. Uh, I think we may go to dinner. I think we're going to do a live stream tonight on one of their channels. I haven't seen Chad or Taylor for a while, so this will be fun. So let's see what we can get ourselves into. So here's... Oh! oh hello! Hello! What are you doing? Taylor's mad. <laughs> no try red. Alright. That's good. Oh, here we go. Um, 
we tried to order DoorDash, and after like eight hours, it never showed up. Eight so, hours? Uh, yeah. So we're <laughs> going to go pick up our own food. We're going to a Chinese joint in England back, and possibly going live, I think. We should. Oh, yeah, mm. and uh, to talk about stuff. And I think Lucas here, who just got Hello. off work. Sure did, yes. And um, he may be the moderator or something, I don't know. <laughs> they, always, they always throw me at moderators. Yeah, so. I've never had a chat thing where I needed a moderator. No. Once, uh, once Coaster Studio is joined, then everyone's like, oh, oh yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. No, you definitely need a moderator. All right, well, here we go. And that is the only footage I shot while I was down in Cincinnati, unfortunately. Right now, I am heading to Sandusky, Ohio to visit Cedar Point. I usually go several times a year, but I honestly think this is going to be my only visit of the season. I'm meeting up with Steve Surgeon again, and we're going to make the best out of this day. But there's one main reason I am going to the park today. More on that later. But here we go. Steve, again, probably the fourth time, he left north of Detroit, and uh, we pulled in again at the, pretty much the same time. That's the fourth time it's happened, at least. So uh, here's the new signage. It's about a half an hour before the park opens. We got here early enough. There's not a lot of people here. We parked in the front row, and we're just going to... Uh, go through this process again and see how it works. Oh, hi. hi. These yes. All right, perfect. You can go ahead and go through the last Yeah, we do. No idea how long we're going to stay today, but we're going to make the best out of it. And the park is selling uh, face covers for $2. I brought some extras just in case. Ready to make the best out of it? Always do. Always do. <laughs> and here we go. Cedar Point. Please have your tickets in hand. If you're sick. Gee, where are we heading, Steve? Steve. We're going to Steve. Steve Vengeance. Steel Vengeance, that is. This looks nice, what they did here. So Steve and I just finished uh, a ride on, well, Steve, Steel Vengeance. I don't know if it was just because of the half-empty trains or what. That might have been my favorite ride I've had on that thing. It was absolutely insane. Airtime was brutal. What do you think, Steve? It was great. And now it's wet. And now it's wet. We're trying to get to Millennium Force because all the tickets are sold out for everything else, but now we're getting soaked. Now Raven's got a, it almost looks like a full queue, but in the social distancing terms, we don't know how long that is. The two other rides we wanted to ride are already sold out of the, timed ticket things. We're gonna try back maybe at 3.30 and the breeze feels wonderful right now. It's a bit muggy here. So they've taken out this whole stuff. Finally on another ride. Well, in line for another ride. The original Hypercoaster Magnum XL200. And if we ride only two rides today, so be it. I think we'll get more, but um, Steve got yelled at because he didn't put his mask on. I was drinking a Coke. 
The only two times I've seen the mask thing enforced today has been with Steve, and it's when he was drinking something. Attention writers on the platform. Loose articles are not permitted. <laughs> Surprises, surprises, surprises. Look who I ran into. Mr. Coaster Guy 101. Hi guys. Subscribe to his channel. And then Chuck and Chase, who I met last year. No, I'm yeah, yeah, Hollywood, Hollywood Nights. And Knots. And Knots on 4th of July a year ago, before I went to Japan. Millie yeah. so, feels so fast because it's going so low to the ground. And I love the tunnels. Yeah. So this is the legacy walk. So I bought a brick here. And we're gonna try to find it. And I bet you we can. So once we find it, I'll let you know. So there's literally thousands of bricks here. And we're looking for a special one. And Steve found it. This is the brick that I bought in loving memory of Tyler Gerald. I carry that coin with me in many places. Uh, I had it with me in Japan. Uh, I've had it on many rides and many parks. And then we have Tyler. What have we ridden since Magnum? The beer cart. We had a beer. And Val Raven is open and it doesn't have much of a weight, it doesn't look like. So we're going to hit this. Well, this is our third ride of the day. Third coaster we've ridden. The Raven. Then we're gonna go try to get a Millennium Force Time ticket thing. And then Gatekeeper, maybe Raptor, and maybe Millennium Force, and probably call it a day. Uh, Steve and I successfully rode Val Raven. Great ride. They're sitting everybody on the ends, and this ends of the row, to help with social distancing. And then we noticed Top Thrill Dragster here testing, so uh, we're going to uh, see if it's open. It says, there's a sign that says, will not open today, but there's an awful lot of activity here with some employees out front. So we, we got our uh, ride ticket for Millennium Force between four and five. We got a ride ticket for uh, between four and five, and uh, we may ride that, but we will sacrifice a Millennium Force ride to ride Dragster. But it is raining again right now. So wish us luck, we'll tell you what happens. Well, next on the bill, we cashed in our Millennium Force tickets. And what do we notice that's missing? The DJ booth is gone. Almost there. Uh, maybe doing one more ride. I'm gonna skip her after, we're kind of beat. We're happy to ride this because this is the 20, 20th anniversary of this ride. And this ride's been a huge part of my life. Um, from the construction tours we did, to the announcement. It's one of my faves, for sure. But we're gonna ride it. <sighs> mask free, we are in the relax zone, the mask free zone. We've been doing really well with our masks today, except Steve, he's gotten yelled at twice. But I can't even drink a Coca-Cola. We're gonna ride one more thing. We had a front row ride on Millennium Force and it was incredible. I cannot believe that thing is 20 years old. And an employee there commented on my Meshuggah shirt. Very cool. <laughs> but we're gonna hit Gatekeeper, I think, and then call it a day. We uh, did as best as we could. We didn't ride Maverick. A lot of the other stuff is closed because of staffing. I've never seen the park this closed as far as when people can come in. I wish them the best, but I don't foresee myself coming back here this season. And like I said, we made it the best, but the fun aspect of today is kind of in the background. Um, nothing bad happened. It just doesn't seem that fun, at least in my eyes. So. Uh, I'm willing to wait another season or two to see if things get back to a more uh, normal, if that ever comes back, way. So uh, we'll see. No one riding gatekeeper. Right in the back row. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day here at 
it's pretty windy where we're at. Uh, Steve came back down from Michigan. We got a trip planned starting tomorrow, but since he's the nature photographer extraordinaire, <laughs> we're at a we're at Battelle Darby Creek Park, park not too far from where I live. Haven't been here in like eight years, and there's bison here. <laughs> So we're gonna go try to find the bison. Well, we're still searching for the bison and we saw this drop off and there's a trail that goes really steep down here, down to the creek, but we're not gonna do that. It's over 90 degrees today, we're just kind of taking it easy. We just wanna see the bison. Well, we made it to the bison overlook, at least one of them, and there's no bison. But Steve made a comment that this would be a really cool place to watch a storm roll in. Well, we're back at Brinkton Ponds and uh, back at the Eagle's Nest. And uh, the juvenile's up in there. Did you get it? Mm hmm. You really want to show him? There he is. Yeah, look. It's amazing. Oh, all right, we must go. All right. <laughs> Steve walked away into pizza to pick up pizza. His phone's connected to Bluetooth and it keeps on breaking the signal. Now we have no signal really. But as soon as he walks back out, you'll hear the music come back on. <laughs> He's coming back. Let's see if the uh, sound returns. Nope, it doesn't. <laughs> we are at the Flight 93 Memorial, and this is the first stop. We were here like four or five years ago or something, and uh, this was not finished. So this is called the Tower of Voices, and we're not quite sure if it's finished yet. We're going to spend uh, maybe a couple hours here and get on the road for a very, very cool evening, hopefully, with some luck.
so uh, we just found out this right here is where Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address. So Steve and I came up here to see the, the sunset, the beautiful sunset. Little round top, Gettysburg. Yeah, right? yeah, we're at Gettysburg and we ran into TC. Hey, this, this guy ran into me. Yeah, we, we ran into him. <laughs> yeah, we just started talking about photography and YouTube, but drones and everything. What's and your channel? We, go, man. we yes. just meet up like this. Exactly. TC Films. Like, subscribe. You know, they always say hit that hit that like, like button. button. Smash <laughs> Smash it, that. man. Come on. You know, all that kind of good stuff. Daryl, right? Sean. Sean. Okay. Where's he and Daryl from? I don't know. He's, he's, isn't he Bigfoot? Isn't he Sasquatch? Yeah. I think that's what, yeah. I think his name is Daryl. Okay. Commercial. <laughs> there you go. Well, awesome. Nice to meet you, man. You too. You too. All right. I know. It's, <laughs> I have one. I, don't bring, I didn't bring it with me. Oh, I know they are. See the comment. So Steve, what's the significance of this church? First of all, where are we? Centralia. Centralia, Pennsylvania. World famous town that uh, was a mining town. And um, there's, there was a big fire, coal fire, that's still burning underneath the town, but there's very few buildings left. But one of the buildings that is left is this church. And this church, bees this church is what inspired the church in Silent Hill from what we're told and here it is it's the tallest thing around you can see the blue dome top from quite a distance away when you're pulling in the little town well we are making our way back down the village we're gonna pull over probably a couple places but oh this is spooky looking Oh. oh, it is a dead end, dude. So we really can't go far because this tree is blocking the road. Wow, lots of graffiti. It's nice to know that COVID was here. Here's what the deal is. There used to be the main road that went through here and they've covered it up. The road buckled from the fires beneath us and they ended up covering up the road with dirt, but supposedly you can still uh, kind of walk back here. This was the road that buckled and it was the one visual, very, uh, I guess you could say famous, visual reference of how bad this coal fire was. I'm not walking all the way back there, for sure. Wow, look at this. say Centralia on it, but on the map it says Centralia Municipal Building. That building? Oh yeah. These are probably all like driveways. 
Yeah. It's a weird vibe. It's almost like a Ninth Ward or whatever it is in New Orleans. It's very similar. I wonder if these are the houses that are left. Ah, uh, used to be a road. They blocked it in. Wow, this is crazy. This is creepy. Oh, so this looks like this is where they were. They used to have ventilation pipes. Is this really America's oldest brewery? Yeah, you know that. No. Another pit stop on our kind of free day of travel. We're stopping at the Inling Brewery. It's my favorite beer in the world, and uh, I didn't know how rare, apparently, it can become. But we're going to take the tour. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I got some beer for you too, so don't worry. Uh -oh. Some birch beer. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so probably some things have yes. pulled up all the building. Welcome. Um, my name is Casey, and I'll be your tour guide here today. And we'll start in our historic rack room, and we'll talk about some history, and then we'll head inside to the caves and check those out. And then we'll be going upstairs and we'll see the rack cellar and the brew house. And then we'll go up to the bottle shop, and we are in production today, so you get to see that happening, which is pretty cool up there. Yeah, we're going to spend as much time as possible down here. And you will have no complaints from us. <laughs> so 450 coal miners came in here with their picks and axes, and they just dug along as we needed more space. And they wanted to use dynamite, but at the time of digging, they were building the brewery right above us. And then also, the first building on the street was actually St. Pat's Church. So it gets outside. So, summertime, like I said, this is supposed to be. But in the winter, this usually feels warm. Summer, this feels cool. Uh, but yeah, and then also, like, during the time to make up for the loss of production of beer, we'll go on up. sample beer we tried like a testing beer that was a fruit beer and it was fantastic no name for it yet uh, mango infused I guess you could say and what are we drinking now Steve uh, premium premium and the golden. golden so here we go cheers all right <laughs> well we got to Hershey early, and they have a special that we can get in for um, a couple hours, the last couple hours of the night. So, welcome to the new Chocolate Town entrance. Wow. And that is why we're here, Candemonium. We're going to try to get that credit tonight. There's possibly some weather moving in. We'll see. But this looks amazing. Wow. First ride, Pandemonium. <laughs> we walk into the station. So Steve and I literally walked onto this ride twice. 
Uh, once in the very front, once in the very back. Fantastic ride. Uh, I purposely did not watch a single video of this ride. And I'm glad I didn't because uh, everything was a surprise. Lots of fantastic airtime, great pacing, a really kind of quirky ending, which is awesome. I rode it twice. Back, had just as much airtime. You feel the trims a little bit harder by sitting in the back, I think. Overall, fantastic ride. Steve, what'd you think? Great. Now we're going to Sky Rush. I did tell Steve I'm going to ride my least favorite coaster in the world. The world. One of them. The world. Sky Rush. See if I have a better experience. All right, wish me luck. All right, Sky Rush, I gave you another try. I sat on the inside seat. I am sorry, I don't understand this ride. I was in just as much pain as I was before. That's it, no more for me on Sky Rush. It just hurts. But it hurt you differently than so it hurt me. I'm so disappointed for a 200 foot Inamon coaster to be that bad. But it did hurt. Yeah, it hurt. Yeah, we're, we're done. Uh, no more Sky Rush for me ever again. All right, let's try and ride something uh, a little bit more fun. Well, we, we took a surprise ride on uh, Great Bear. I forgot how great Great Bear is. We rode in the very front, really intense actually. We just did this tower, which is a combo and a double shot. That was our first time experiencing the new um, SNS restraints. We're hoping to make it out of the park tonight because uh, we took quite a thrashing on that ride. Would you say, Steve? Everything hurts. Everything hurts. Rainbow over Hershey. Pretty cool. So day two at Hershey Park. Uh, we started off with a ride, Chocolate World, the dark ride, if that's what it's called. Uh, did this a few years ago. We're headed into it right now. So uh, good way to wake up, free samples. Only doing this because Sean's got a craving for candy. No, that's not why yes, I was doing this. You, this was your suggestion. No. Hey, your mask, your, your mask is not. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Chocolate factory tour. For your safety, please remain seated. It's the best we get. That's not the heart. Sweet inspiration from the very start. Hey, I'm Sean. Hey, this is Sean. Hey, Sean. Hey, that's a little old. Yeah, we pour the blended cocoa beans into large revolving roasters, which get extremely hot. Toasty in here, isn't it? We just walk onto the front row of Wildcat here. Nobody here, Steve. All our friends. And we rode the Comet. Because why? It's the Comet Trip 2020. Well, Comet Trip 2020. Okay. So Steve is over there. We're on Lightning uh, Racer now. And I'm in the same row on the other side, so we're going to race. And I haven't ridden this one in a few years, but um, actually for several years. Very, very, very hot day at Hershey. We're just. Uh, Taking it easy. There isn't anything really in particular we want to re-ride again. Maybe Candemonium several times since there's no one here. Yeah, we've knocked out. We did uh, Wildcat and Lightning Racer, both fine rides still. We're not gonna bring our gear in. We just don't feel like it. It's hot and muggy, so great. Yep. So I don't think I've ridden this, but we're gonna ride the monorail. Please remain seated until the monorail comes to it. Stop. Then I guess that's technically air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Shop at Hershey's largest candy store for one of a kind gifts and souvenirs. Two rides perfect for the whole family to enjoy. Plus, Hershey's 
Hershey Park is not just open for summer fun. Well, if we must, fantastic ride. Rode it once this morning in the back row. Just a solid, solid ride. Perfect for Hershey Park. There is nobody here, as you can tell by the empty trains. But we're leaving. Great time at Hershey Park. Out of the three parks I have visited so far, this feels the safest. Well staffed, I would say. And uh, yeah, we got one more to go to. Well, we're glad we got out of the park when we did, because it is pouring. We came up here to check out the park on the way up here. Sky is amazing. We're here early at Knobles. They don't open for a couple hours, but you can kind of walk around. Well, Flying Turns is closed. They're doing a lot of work on it, as you can see. Pretty cool. All right, folks. First ride of the day. Front row. First trade out. Phoenix. Hands up. We are on the world famous flyers at Knobel and there's Steve Surgent. And here we go.
shaking because of that, dude. That was amazing. <laughs> down our day I guess I don't even know how many times we read Phoenix probably close to 10 probably close to 10 Steve and I met Dick Knobel and his two sons and had a little conversation with them and uh, Dick Knobel still has a sense of humor I will tell you that I won't tell you the jokes but they were funny <laughs> we're ending our day we didn't get to get on impulse Unfortunately, this is the second time I've been here and not been able to get this credit, but they've been working on it. And, uh, my favorite day I've ever had at Knobles. Would you say, Steve? Woo! We are broken to the core. We were going to go to Kennywood tomorrow, but now we're not going to. But we may hit a park on the way home. We'll see. All right, Knobles 2020. See ya. Steve hates when I do this. I don't care. Nice little detour on the way home. Not really a detour, but a stop. We're going public skating. Actually, oh, you, you wouldn't be able to. I can't see you as a skater. I was. I used to Whatever. roller skate back in the day. But we're at Lake Mont Park. We're gonna be here for a very short period of time before we uh, get back on the road. So we think we can just walk in. There's nobody here to stop us, but it's like Knobles. You just kind of walk in and buy tickets as you go. Here we are. We're officially in Lake Mott Park now. Lake Mott Park is home to the world's oldest roller coaster. 
Leap the Dips, which is right there. I've ridden it a few times, and we're gonna ride it today. Tickets. was at this very moment that I realized the fun had ended. I got stung. <laughs> we got our two rides on Leap the Dips for the price of one. Thank you, ride operator. He used us to break in the ride. So I rode in the back seat and I got stung right here, the back of my head. It isn't too uh, pleasant. And I haven't been stung in like 10 years, but damn it, I got stung. Now we're leaving. What were you doing? I was we'll just find walking, out. man. All right, back in Cincinnati, I'm hanging out with Chad. I'm hanging out with Grant, and uh, we're talking to Marty right now. Hello. Marty, say hi to the massive little hug. He's, he's, we're talking hi, to him from New little... Zealand. <laughs> yeah, all the way in New Zealand, different time zone, different day. I think I'm a day ahead of you guys, so yeah. <laughs> so if you guys watched the, the massive logs, you might remember seeing Marty because we met him on Vortex's closing day last year. So, yeah, uh, Chad was kind enough to invite me down here just to blow off some steam. Yeah, that's all there is to this one. <laughs> so, let's continue. This is Facebook. Oh. What the hell did this you Facebook. do to me, Chad? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so, it's been a month since the last little video you saw me hang out at Chad's. This is a big weekend. This is uh, Hollywood Nights and Keys to the Kingdom. Mentally, it's been a bit much to get ready for this, I'll be honest, because uh, I haven't really been to the park thing. But I picked up Kyle here, Kings Island's new video content producer. How long, when did you start? Uh, was supposed to start in March, but ended up starting like uh, middle of June. New middle of June. Yeah. I picked him up on the way down and we decided randomly, pretty spontaneously, yeah. to get a new credit. And we're at Malibu Jacks and we're in Lexington, Kentucky. We're here 20 minutes before they open. So we're going to uh, get this credit and then head south to Santa Claus. Yep, that's where we're going. Another SBF spinner. This is only my third, and there's like a gazillion of these around the world. So we're gonna ride this. Cha-ching. We're on a 
Triotech ride, I think, right? What the hell? Today we are at Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana for Hollywood Nights. And how are we feeling? Uh, little butterflies, you know. Uh, first coaster event this year. Um, of course, it's my first time doing anything this year because I've been backed up at the island. But um, yeah, it should be a fun time. We're not ready for this. <laughs> All right, so um, in the park, had some snacks and um, we're not doing the water park ERT, but we're gonna go down there and kind of mingle. It's a lot better, it's a lot better. This is gonna be fun. Well, it's raining and look who has joined us. Hey, hey Mr. Doc. Fred. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have fun, right? Yes, we're gonna have a so great it's a, time. It's a very, very different type of coaster event. It's very safe, but we're just going to uh, ride Legend and Kyle's very happy about that because it's his favorite. Well, we could do Raven right now since we're here. I don't know, it's up to you. Let's do Raven. We're going to do Raven. Let's okay. Do Raven. The fun continues <laughs> just as we had hoped. Look who the hell we just got into. It's hey. funny. OVC. It's and then Johnny we just met. You want to be in our vlog? Sure, yeah. Okay, Johnny. <laughs> it's funny because so you can tell we're all wet, right? But Sean doesn't have any hair. <laughs> so you can't tell I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what did you say when you got off the Sean ride? I can't get wet. Oh, I can't say that in your vlog. Okay. Sean, that's naughty. What? <laughs> <laughs> so we just took an amazing ride on legend. Kyle said he got beat up because he was over the wheels. Yeah. Lesson but we're learned. Fred and Chuck. Yay! From California, Sean. who's already, he's already been in this vlog one time. You saw him at Cedar Point. But <laughs> exactly. We're heading over to what now? The legend, uh, the voyage. Voyage. The beast at Kings Island is way better than the voyage. Uh, Without beast, close. you guys would never even have voyage. Oh, well, whatever. true, but still, it's not. <laughs> we're doing rain ERT. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. I will say, I've never really had rain rides on wooden coasters, and it is different. It's very different, for sure. Well, just you wait here in a second. Trust me. <laughs> well, look who it is. You may remember these guys from last year. Yeah, it's good to be back. And we're in line for what? Voyage! In the, in the basement, which we never do. Uh, it's coaster. Uh, it's coaster credits on YouTube. Okay. I've actually retired from YouTube. You can find me on Instagram at Michael underscore Barbera. B a r b e r i c. All right. All right. So, Chuck and I rode together, and we went into this thinking this was our first ride ever. And when you have that mindset, it works. It works. It was religious. It really was a religious experience. Kyle, this is his favorite coaster ever. Huh? It was your favorite coaster ever. Woo! So I just met Josh. Hi guys. And he's starting a, a, a channel and what what's it called? It's called Coaster Royalty. Alright, man. I'll put it I'll put it down there in the lower third so you can see it. We'll check it out. So everybody check him out, okay? Nice to meet you, man. It's nice to meet you too. Look who I ran into. Steel on the riders, yeah. civilian satellite. Hello, voice in the video. How, how did you guys like tonight? Awesome. Oh my God. Fantastic. Well, it's time to go. Oh yeah, by the time. So we're going to have a better night tomorrow. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Long story short, day two. Sunny, hot day. It's gonna be a great day. Uh, I've already recorded this, but we had some file issues. So we're recording it again. So the stuff I already shot today is toast, but that it doesn't matter. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna record the park. So here we go.
So I just met Bill here Hi. in front of uh, the fabulous Voyager. Who, uh, what's your uh, YouTube channel? Uh, Thrill Seekers and Hellraisers. All one word. Uh, I know we've we've talked online a couple times, so yeah. it's great to finally meet you, man. Thanks for introducing yeah. yourself. No problem. Is this your first Hollywood Nights? Yeah. Oh man, you came at a good time. So. Yeah. Great, I love it. Yeah, tonight's gonna be awesome. I love it. Alrighty, buddy. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh oh. Beast is better. Beast is better. <laughs> Beast is good. Voyage is better. better. I'm getting out of here. So I just met Aaron here. Aaron at Prowler on Instagram. Check it out. And this is your first time here. Yes, it is my first time here. We're doing it again. The walk back for Voyage, Thunderbird, and then we're going to get some snacks. So, are you ready, Kyle? <laughs> ready, Mike? Let's have fun. Ready, Anthony? Oh yeah, sure. All right. Look who I am with. These guys run the Kentucky Anna Kentucky YouTube Anna. channel. That's Ted and Anthony. Anthony. I just met Anthony for some. We we met Ted on Vortex's closing day yeah, right. last year. Right. So, awesome. and now uh, we're just walking around. You guys ready for tonight? Absolutely. Woo! Nice it cools off a little bit. Yeah, it's it's Time a little. For the GPs to go in, the sun to go down. And it's a little saucy right now. Yeah. So. All right, enjoy your time, man. Thanks. Check out our channel, Kentucky yep. Anna Coasters. Yep, absolutely. Appreciate it, guys. So here's Locus, uh, Ohio Colts on YouTube. Uh, I've known him since I, you were like 13 years old or something. Yeah, all the way back. And, uh, posting for kids. And we're doing dual vlogging, because look, oh, you got, you got a fancy, like, Yes, we do. It's, uh, it's like a wind noise thingy. It came with the camera, so. Are you, are you having fun, Lucas? Oh, I'm having a great time. This is always my favorite event, yeah. so. Yeah, Tell me I really do. So look who I ran into. You've seen him before. Well, I'll, do, I'll go like this. So, Itai Coaster fan. And what do we have in common? We both have the same birthday. We have the same birthday, which is September 21st. Yes. Callie, the coaster enthusiast, who I haven't seen in a while, but yeah. I met her at Kings Island on like New Year's Eve or something yeah, a couple years ago. Like and then Zach Bourgeois. Bourgeois, yes. From Theme Park Media yep. and Talk and Trimless Podcast, which who. I was part of that podcast, uh, what, a couple yes. months ago? That was one of our best episodes. There's so oh, much thank good you. information in that, well, thank you. In, in that episode. Yeah. Thank you very much, man. It was, much, it was man. awesome having you on, too. Well, that was, that's awesome. I enjoyed doing it. But yeah, I just ran into these guys. We're getting ready to go ride uh, Gobbler Getaway. So nice meeting you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love Gobbler that's Getaway. Awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah? Oh, we'll do. Oh. Yeah, we're two. Yeah, yeah. All right. You guys ready? I'm, I'm glad that. we're not waiting an hour for this. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. So John Mike and there's Taylor yep. and there's Jerry. Hey. <laughs> so we're gonna ride uh, Thunderbird here. Let's it's do very this. muggy. Yes. Yeah, I got it. Feels good. What does this remind you of, Taylor? <laughs> uh, Japan, because yeah. there's no one here. Yeah. <laughs> Look who I'm riding with. Ah! Front row, shoeless. I'm taking my shoes off. All right, I guess I will too. So we just rode bare, well, we rode socks. Socks. It was good though. I felt the wind go between my toes and I haven't done that in a very long time. So good times. There's the quote from Dan. Yep. And I went barefoot because I'm wearing sandals. But she, you didn't go barefoot, did you? No, no she was a fuddy duddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to just keep walking down here, so let's see what happens. So that was 35 minutes. Uh, They're in the front. John and I are one, two. Yep. You guys ready? Ready.
All right, so, so I just took, and I said this last year, and I didn't think it could be topped. I just took the most insane roller coaster, wooden roller coaster ride of my life. What'd you I, think? I have no words. Like that, like, I thought last year Voyage was running exceptionally well. Yeah. This just blew last year's experience out of the way. Oh, world. yeah. So, uh, I don't know what, I don't know what the hell they did to this thing, but oh my gosh. Like, that was, that that is one of the top coaster rides I've ever taken in my life. Probably, no, it is the top. What'd you think? So, last time I rode was 2015. Uh, I absolutely hated it. I wouldn't even consider it was in a top 50 Woody, but that's me. Now that's easily one of the best wooden coasters I've ever done. Uh, incredible. <laughs> that ride is crazy. Uh, rode last night for the first time. It was all right in the rain, but tonight it was absolutely hauling the yeah. mail. It was running faster yeah, tonight than it was yesterday. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't even understand. I can't even comprehend what just happened. No, I mean, we were out of our seat more than we were in it. That right. was the perfect ride. That was the perfect ride. And it wasn't, it wasn't rough. It was literally just butter. Yeah. It was taking the turns, good transitions yeah. and everything. I, I don't want to ride it again because I don't want to be disappointed no. if I... No. <laughs> and to be honest, I, we were going to go over to Legend and now I'm like, I don't know. I know. <laughs> yeah. We need water. We need water. We know that. Wow. <laughs> Gobble, gobble to you, wobble. I mean, wait, gobble, what? get away. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Uh, oh, I am I was born ready. All right, here we go. Do you know how to do it? No. You just, just look beyond the picture. So, just stare, like, act like this is a pane of pain glass. Okay. And, look, and then eventually it'll, it'll show up. So, just stare. Try to sit in the center. Sometimes it helps if you put your finger on, on there as a reference, like in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, just keep it there and stare at the middle. Do you know what that does? What? Nothing. I just want to see if you want to do it. It's solid. We're stopped, and uh, whoops, <laughs> there's somebody halfway through the door almost. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I apologize for the abrupt transition um, because I stopped recording and just spent some time writing last evening, but Kyle and I, uh, we're at Kentucky Kingdom uh, really, really early. We left Santa Claus at like 6 a.m. Because the time change and all that, we wanted to get here early, but uh, not awake yet. And I've got a pretty bitchin' coaster hangover right now. So, uh, but today's gonna be awesome. So, let's do it. So we're checking in here at Kentucky Kingdom very early and I met Colin, correct? Yes. And you have a YouTube channel. Yes, it's called Whiff. I do captions. Captions? You do? Yes, captions for a channel called Adam Iman. Nice. And you just, you, um, you and your mother here mm -hmm. uh, hey, said that you just drove by Six Flags New Orleans, or you went Six We Flags. went there in 2017 and drove by it. Nice. I, you know what? I did that as well in 2017. That was cool. the first time I drove by it since then. So. That's awesome. You going to have fun today? Awesome. I've been waiting months for this. Yeah, so <laughs> So we have a bit of a coaster hangover. We're sore and bruised and all that stuff, but um, from last night. But all right, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too. Right. Actually, you know that's a really stupid. And Fred joined us. And Ryan joined us. You have a, you're gonna have a good day. Yeah. All right. Hi, Vince. Welcome to Keys to the Kingdom on Sean Flaherty's channel. Check out his channel, it's awesome. Hi. So, you ready for today? Yeah, I think we're gonna have a blast. Uh, I had a really fun time the last time I was at this park, so the fact that they're holding an event. Um, we're ready for Team 4, the Team 4 hype is real. Oh. Um, in case you don't know, my name is Jesse O'Daniel. I'm the Vice President of Guest Experience here at Kentucky Kingdom in Hurricane Bay. I want to turn it over to the woman who made all of this magic happen, our Special Events Manager, Carly Ugalo. Woo! 
Farm Introduction, Jesse. Hi guys, my name is Carly. I am our guest or group sales and special events manager. Um, I'll turn it off to a man who needs no introduction. You all know him very well, Jefferson Richardson. Hey guys, I'm Jefferson. If you don't know me by the scream, I'm the social media coordinator. Uh, somewhat responsible for the Onion production, and uh, D3 and D2 lover. So I'm gonna pass it over to the coolest cat in the kingdom, Kaylee. Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee, aka Sign Girl, aka the girl that holds the 40 foot camera stick with Jefferson. Um, so I do in-park signage and media, and as you go through the park today, in the queue lines of your favorite coasters, you'll see some artwork from our featured artists. So uh, without further ado, uh, we wanna let you guys Head on over, go get on Lightning Run or Kentucky Flyer, you've got it till 11 a.m. All right, have fun today, guys. Well, look who I run into, Parker and Tim. Yep. F5 Coasters, right? Yes, sir. Yep. On Instagram and YouTube, right? Yes. yes. We have a small presence on YouTube, but uh, Instagram primarily with uh, Facebook. But you're a part of the community. Part of the yes. community, yes. And we're going to have fun today, right? Yes, sir. Yep. All right, man, here we go. All right, awesome. Where are we heading, Kyle? Kentucky Flyer, my favorite in the park. So you're not going to be able to see anything from my end. We're not really supposed to record in there, the Taylor is, but um, here's the panel. So we have... Marcus. Marcus. John Mike, also known as Dan. Oh, yeah. Well, Jerry. Oh, Jerry, yeah. Yes. Hey there. Taylor. Like uh, uh, Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm filming you, filming me. Oh, okay. So it's Chris from Airtime Thrills, which I didn't get yesterday. there for the first time yesterday. Yeah. And then Logan, well, we know you because you're on posters in the park, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're about to have fun. Absolutely. This yeah. is going to be, a, this is kind of cool, man. So, uh, all right, let's go knock it out. Ooh. What a great view. <laughs> So I just met Ramsey here, and he just asked me to sign poorly because I, I'm a lefty. But I just I just signed my first autograph as a coaster YouTuber. So thank you so much, man. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. I just met some uh, folks that watched the videos, and what's your name? Chrissy. Chrissy, and what's your upcoming channel or Instagram? It's uh, authentically Chrissy. Authentically Christy. Well, I really, really appreciate you coming up to me. That, that, that means the world to me. And uh, she rode her hundredth roller coaster yesterday. You rode your hundredth roller coaster. Kings Island, Mystic Timber. That was your hundredth. Yeah. Your hundredth coaster was Mystic Timbers. Yep. Woohoo! Yeah. That is amazing. That's awesome. My one hundredth coaster is not even around anymore, and it was horrible. It was called Hercules. <laughs> oh my god. So.
So here is Ryan. His YouTube channel is Christian Coasters, which you're seeing at the lower thirds right now. I met this cat uh, two years ago when we were yeah. leaving Winterfest when I was with Chad from OVC. Oh, it wasn't Winterfest. It was the last day of 2018. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fire okay. It was Firehawk's funeral day. Oh, That's you're right. right. Yeah. Firehawk's last final day is when I met you briefly, like in the parking lot. Yep. But uh, are you having fun today? Oh, yeah. I, this is a great event. Hollywood Nights is great. This has been fun so far. I got to be honest, I didn't really do the panel, but I had such a great time marathoning Storm Chaser while everyone was there. This is such a fun time. It's my first time back to Kentucky Kingdom this year, too. So, I mean, I've had a blast this weekend. Nothing but awesome coasters, fun, seeing all the enthusiasts. It's been a great time. It's great to see everyone. Great to meet new people and re-meet people just like this. And yeah, can't wait to get more. Here's Chris Warner. You've seen him before in my videos of Christopher Warner Designs. Correct. Right. And he has some artwork on display today at Kentucky Kingdom, which you would have seen from a still. Like I took a picture of him right here. And then, how, how are you enjoying the event so far? Yeah, it was great. Um, the YouTube question and answer panel was very informative. You guys were hilarious. You guys were doing the banner off of one another. That was pretty fun. That was fun. So. We, uh, if, you're, if you go ahead and you uh, get a chance to do Thunder Run uh, at Kentucky Kingdom, we, uh, see some surprises. There's one by, there's a poster of Thunder Run for its 30th anniversary by Gabby Gomes uh, and Thunder Run's Q, and one done by me and Thunder Run's Q. And they're going to be there all the rest of the season? Rest of the season. Oh, that's awesome. I'll go check it out. Nice to see you again, buddy. I haven't seen you in a while. So, uh, you doing well? Yeah, how are you doing? Good. I'm doing great. You're, you're uh, glad you're here at this event? Having a lot of fun uh, at Keys of the Kingdom. It's an awesome event. And we're going to have fun for the rest of the evening, right? Yep. All right. Go T4. Go T4. So, what's your name? Quentin Gibson. Quentin Gibson. And yep. I just met you. What's your channel? Um, it's Big QG. Okay. I just met FYE Coaster. You FYE sure did. FYE Coasters. Is he on the ride right now? Yes, he just oh, got on the ride. ride. Okay. Nice okay. to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. So, we are riding Storm Chaser, but I'm with the Lavelles. And, uh, Where are we going, Tron? You pick. That's your pick. Oh, I don't care. Every good, every, this has all good seats, so. Dan, are you ready? A little tired, but yeah, so I think this is gonna wake me up. I have like a food cover right now from that nacho bar, but I'm ready to ride this. This is the first RMC we've ridden since what? Hot cookie! Yes. Yeah. Right. There's no hot cookie, but it's a good one. It has come to that time. The weekend uh, is ending, and it's time to bail. They're staying, Vince is staying, but he has to go back to Casper and he's landing and working. And then these folks have an adventure. Yeah, we have a couple of special things coming up soon. Yep. All right. Uh, this gosh. may look oddly familiar. It's we're walking up to an empty T3 station. Why? This is Kyle's idea. I don't know why. It just felt good in the moment. And as soon as I stepped in line, I'm like, this is a bad idea. Well, guess what? This may ruin our trip home. But hey, it's a coaster. Well, I totally would do that. Right I really would, but I have a three-hour drive, so I gotta go. Uh, yeah, so. Thank you guys for being so cool. No problem. You yeah. don't understand, okay? <laughs> we just rode this four times for T4, and uh, I, I, I cannot believe this. Um, I can't believe I'm going to be saying these words, but it was awesome. This may be my new favorite ride in Kentucky Kingdom. <laughs> Unironically, it's so good. Like, I love this ride so much. It's, it's so much fun. So Tyler and, and Lucas, they yeah. told us when yeah. we got on, oh, it's really good. And we're yeah. like, it's You're like yeah, no, it's not. Like, oh, it is. Kyle and I looked at each other in the brake run, and we're like, how the hell did that happen? <laughs> because what right. you've already seen in the vlog, I rode this opening day 25 years ago. Wow. And I loved it, and then a week later I didn't. But guess what? I love it now. Yeah. Uh, enough energy to get us back on the road. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> Kentucky Kingdom, thank you. <laughs> and you guys too, right? Yeah. I, 
We can so it, man. We can I feel like you. it feels like it's running at five frames per second. It has to be. It's so funny. Yeah. Wow, what an incredible weekend. I can't thank Holiday World and Kentucky Kingdom enough for putting two incredible coaster events together when the world is as crazy as it is. Obviously, if you're into the coaster community, you know just how many coaster events were canceled or postponed. And it was great visiting Holiday World and Kentucky Kingdom like I do every year. But this weekend is something I truly, truly needed. Look, the world is absolutely insane right now. And even if it was just for one weekend, a whole lot of us were able to escape the insanity of what's going on right now. Millions and millions and millions of people are struggling, whether that would be financially, mentally, the list goes on. It's tough right now. And just because you might be that type of person that dedicates a lot of their life to helping others, do not forget to help yourself. You could be having the crappiest day. You could have a road rage incident. You could get the wrong order picked up at a restaurant or even just get so frustrated that amusement parks just don't do it for you anymore. Regardless of the reason, there are options to make things better for you. Don't be afraid to reach out to anybody. Reach out to a friend, send a text, pick up the phone and call, because it will make a difference. Look at it like a trampoline. The best part of being on a trampoline for a lot of people is being way, way, way up high. But in order to get there, you have to be way, way, way down. The further down you go, the higher up you can be. Now, I'm not here to say that everybody needs a good rock bottom before they feel better. That's obviously not the case. But as dark and nasty as the world is right now, it can get better. When I started to edit this video months ago, I actually had no desire to keep my channel going. This was designed to be the last video ever on my channel. But because of the amazing people that I surround my life with, whether they know it or not, they pointed me in a different direction. A direction that seemed more normal for once. Now, will I do another massive vlog? I have no idea at this point. Um, I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen to this series. Um, I know I have been releasing videos every couple days um, for months, a lot of older stuff. And that well's kind of drying up, to be honest, but I'll go through another comb of my archives and see if I can find anything else that's worth uploading. But until then, who knows what's going to happen, but I will be around here. Maybe that will be in the form of a live chat, or maybe that'll just be some completely random non-coaster thing. That's why I created this channel to begin with, just to share my life. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can view the YouTuber panel at Kentucky Kingdom for Keys for the Kingdom, as I didn't record anything and very few people did. But it was a lot of fun. It was the first time that I know of that anything's been done like that in the, in the coaster community or at a coaster event. And I'm honored that I was asked to be part of that panel. The rest of the guys on that panel are super. I really enjoyed meeting everyone this weekend. I apologize to the people that might have wanted to meet me, but I didn't have the chance to meet you uh, next time. Regardless, Thank you all for being part of my life, and I can't wait to see what happens next year. So if you've made it through the two plus hours of this massive vlog, thank you. This is by far the largest video I have ever uploaded onto YouTube, and I have no idea if I'll do another one like this. So please, if you have not, if you like what you see on this channel, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, give me a share, and I would love to hear from you. Put some uh, comments down there. And if you need to reach me, I can be reached at the About tab on my main channel page. From my heart, I appreciate the years of support that you have given me, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Be safe out there, take care of yourself, take care of others, and I'll talk to you later.